Want a more effective team or increase your profits? Sound and music are powerful tools to have in your toolbox. It's no news that music for long have dictated how we dress, who we hang out with, and how we feel. When we are sad, we listen to music to help us process the sadness. And when we are stressed, we take a walk in the nature to hear the birds sing and the wind blow through the leaves. If you know how to use these tools, you can make your company more successful and in the same time help your employees and customers to become happier, more productive, have unforgettable experiences. It's really a win-win situation. I will go through some examples on reasons why we want to use sound and what we can do in each of these cases. If you're interested and want to learn more or want to know how you can use these tools in your company, please subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos or send me an email. The first question to ask yourself is who we are playing for. Is it for staff, clients, guests or the general public? Depending on the answer to this question, the outcome may be very different. Maybe it's even a mix of one or more of these groups. When we have decided the general group, then we can narrow down even more and ask ourselves questions such as are our listeners motivated or unmotivated are they playful or serious are they conformative or rebels young or old do they know us very well or is this the first meeting they have with the company most workplaces have some kind of music playing in the background but few make up a strategy for what they play. At most, maybe someone is shouting for you to change the music when it gets too annoy annoying. But music has so much more to offer. With music we can change the mental state or well-being of our staff or visitors. We can use it for branding so that when we have clients visiting they'll get a better sense for who we are. We can use it to make a boring and repetitive job more interesting and fulfilling. If our workplace is a public space, we can use it to tell a story or to change our customers' behavior and spending patterns. So ask yourself what the reason is to have music at your workplace. When we have decided who we are playing for, and why we are playing music or sound, then we can easily decide which results we want based on that. Maybe our staff is stressed and because of that has a hard time focusing. Then we may want something that will calm them down and relax. Maybe we want our clients to be interested in a certain product. Then we may want the kind of sounds or music to spark their interest. Have you ever watched a movie uh, where they remove the sound and then add jab back just the dialogue? Then you probably realized how boring it can become without the music and sound effects. Likewise, we can spark interest in a product, service or customer experience in the same way. Now, when we have the answer to these questions, we can start to get more practical. This is also where the skills of someone who professionally works with sound environments comes in handy. They have the skills and the knowledge to tell you what will work best for your workplace and for your desired outcome. We have two groups that we usually play music or sounds for in our workplace. 
The first is our staff, and the second is our clients. Sometimes we want to play for both these groups, of course, and then we have to adapt what we play to fit both segments. In this video, I will treat them separate, though, to make it easier. Here are three examples of what I think is the major reasons why we want to give a deeper thought to what you play for our staff. Stress is a growing problem all over the world. The will to balance career, family, and personal development, pressure from management, clients, investors or owners, open office environments, and many more factors can put a high mental load on the individual. So we need to use all the tools we have to advise this issue, and sound is definitely one of them. In this case, the choice of music or sound is quite intuitive, but often forgotten. Here the best solution is calm music on low volume or a soothing nature sound, such as gentle breathe in the leaves, soft rainfall, a small brook with the waves rolling into shore. In other workplaces, the issue is rather that the work is tedious or repetitive, such as number crunching, sorting letters at the post office, or factory work, and can easily be boring. Here we also have to take in account if the job needs focus and brain power, such as the work of an accountant or an in-house sales agent who at any time needs to adapt to the reaction of a potential client, or if the job is basically trusting your muscle memory, or previously acquired skills, such as putting packages on a shelf all day long, or factory work with uh, where you seldom mess up and with less dangerous machines. If there is little thinking involved, audiobooks or uh, captivating podcasts are a great option to make time pass. If the workers use ear or headphones, they can even choose themselves what they like. This could also be a great way to acquire some new skills while working through an audio course. Music is often used to make time pass faster, like for long distance runners, at the gym or at the waiting room. So if your staff is not interested in audiobooks or podcasts, music is also a great option. In the case with repetitive, mindless work that don't demand a lot of brain capacity, it's great to use music with a little bit more energy and action. Music with lyrics are more of a distraction than instrumental music, and in this case something I would recommend. For work with numbers that demands an eye for details, classical music has been shown to have the best effect. I found a study that looked at the most popular tracks on Spotify for sleeping. So for staying awake, picking tracks very different from these should do the trick. Our heart rate at rest is around 60 to 100 beats per minute and can go a bit lower for trained athletes. All the tracks in the study had a feel of these tempos or even lower for one track. So pick music well over 100 beats per minute for some energy. They were also all instrumentals. So then maybe we should try music with some lyrics, which makes the brain alert with the, the warning that it may divert focus from their work. Maybe our staff is sleepy because they are bored with work. Perhaps a change of mood might do the trick. In that case, pick music that is in a major key. Another study found that music in a major key increases worker productivity and their satisfaction with how they communicate with others. If you instead want to play music for your clients, your approach needs to be a bit different. Since we usually have another agenda compared to when playing for our staff. Our reasons could be such as changing our client's buyer behavior, 
to get them to purchase certain items just in the same way as supermarkets always put the candy just before the cashiers when the customers are tired and want to sugar boost maybe you want to enhance their experience to build positive memories and associations with our brand another reason could be to change their mood like sad music and rain when someone dies in a movie or a restaurant play relaxing music to their guests to stay. Music and sounds can affect our clients' buying behavior and spending patterns. So depending on if you want your clients to stay longer or shorter, buy a certain product or have a higher chance of returning, there are ways where we can nudge the, our customers' behavior. One study done in a restaurant environment found out that the wines from certain countries sold best when the restaurant played music in the same language of that certain wine. So when they played French music, they sold mostly French wines. And when they played German music, they sold mostly German wines. Another study that has also been repeated in different environments showed that when playing classical music, customers were prepared to pay more for products they considered more sophisticated. To have the best base for high sales, it's important to play music that fits the brand, and that our clients like it. Playing the wrong music can result in diminished sales. Lack of music can make them want to leave and because of that may also lead to diminished sales. Sometimes our goal is instead giving the customer an experience which makes them remember and recommend the place to other people. This is especially true for tourist attractions such as museums, theme parks or experience centers, but can also be the goal for very different places, such as shops, hotels, restaurants, and many more. As with buyer behavior, here it's just as important that what you play goes hand in hand with the experience. But in this case, it's even more important to work with associations. If we are building a Christmas market, Give the visitors some bells and uh, chimes. If you're running a nature experience, put some animals and water sounds in your landscape. If it's a Tivoli, play brass band polka or similar to really enhance the experience and make their visit unforgettable by incorporating another sense in their experience, working in harmony with all the other impressions they get. It's uncommon to play happy music on funerals, unless the deceased person wished for it, since it feels strange to people in a situation where they are supposed to mourn, or playing sad music on a children's birthday party when everyone is supposed to be happy. So even if people come to an occasion like this in a totally different mood, they will quickly change. Likewise, we can work with our customers' mood to expand on their experience or to emphasize our message. In a church, you might want to play mighty choral or organ music to give a sense of reverence to God. Or in a theme park, you want to play happy music to put your visitors in a good mood. So, no matter what your motives are, Music and sound are powerful tools to get you a bit closer to where you want to get. It would be very interesting to hear what it is that you want to achieve at your workplace. So please leave a comment. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. This is the Better Waves channel. If you think that someone else might find this video useful, please share and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more videos like this one. You can also send me an email if you would like to know more or work with me. I'll put a link below.